Hello y'all, this is Brushfire Windragon, and welcome back to TikTok, A Tale for Two. Now, Roja and I recorded this in one big session, but I needed to chop it up into smaller se segments to post it on YouTube for you guys. So this is about where I left off. Although, I... I, I can't get back into the, uh... A clock shop right now to go pa uh, go look at the other one. I need to wind up the time a bit. We're going back the other way. Okay, let's let's go ahead and do the first half of the puzzle though. Uh, so so what does it say? So it looks like it's up to. Okay. Uh, three right, and then down two. Okay. Alright. So that should stay there. And, um... Now we can set the time back and I can go back into the clock, uh, clock shop. Is it working? Have you gotten back into the shop? Oh no. It's saying it's 10. Anti-clockwise once more, a lap round. Okay. Okay. Oh, I see what it is. Okay. Literally turning around makes it go back in time. That's interesting. Okay, it looks like um, it's one more space over. Then, uh, three spaces up. And two spaces over. One space up. And then one space right. I think that works. Okay. I gotta do it the whole thing on my screen too. Hmm. Okay. So from the very beginning? Uh no, it didn't start from the beginning, it started from the middle. Okay. Be one right. Yeah. Three up. Three up. Two right. Two right. Okay. Yeah, one up and then one right. Okay. One, two, three. One. Oh, that's down. Uh, okay, I heard a confirmation noise. I see a train. Do you see a train? Yeah, I see a train. Ah! Ooh, next chapter. 
it was getting harder to find animals for my experience experiments, but I still knew one I could get access to easily. 1927 to 1932. This one says, I told Laika I was making her a clock, but she wasn't interested. She was too busy playing with her stupid bird. Oh, man. Oh. And the track we used, the one we made up in the other one, it's closed and out of service now. Hmm. Oh, there's now a little music shop. Oh, and here's another wind up cockroach, and away it goes. Okay, then. Oh, we can go up. I always forget to look up. <laughs> 14, 16, 18, 24, 26, 28. 34, 36, 38, 44, 46, 48. They seem to be some sort of dials, but I don't know the key yet. Which building are you in? Are you in the music shop? I was in the mu music shop, yes. Um, I now went back to the house where we found the music box and the train car and the moth. In my music shop, all I've got is a post office box. Huh. Ooh, I opened the door. I I opened the door in the other house. I've got a whole bunch of bells in here, but the door won't open to me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the if you're still in the music shop, there's just um all those little boxes that we can't open yet. I've got a note in this house. I left you something downstairs. It will be my greatest invention yet. Play our secret melody and I'll open the door. Oh, I opened the door and went upstairs, downstairs and the cage is empty. Is the door unlocked? Yeah, I just clicked on it and it opened on its own. Well, maybe I've got the secret because my door is locked. There is... A rope down here, and I can see it. Uh, it's part of a message. Something it really well, like you did with the two kittens you found in the pantry. Yeah. Lizard. Oh. I can move stuff around on the. Well, just this thing, it seems. Pulled a cork out of a barrel. I've been working on this iteration for one year, one year now in the study. I'd like you to keep it safe for me, Lark. Look after it really well, like you did with the two kittens you found in the pantry. Hmm. That was weird. Still not sure how I made it to the basement, but... Because all I have up here is I'm up the top of the stairs, but it has uh, six bells, and each one of them says, Kitchen, Front Door, Study, Music Room, Office, Dining Hall. And mm. I think I'm supposed to ring the bells in order to open that door that you went through. Oh. Hmm. 
so we need to figure out what the uh, what it would be so I'm gonna turn around a few times to see if I can get I went the wrong way to get in the clock shop I found the White Raven. Dear Molly, I am pleased to inform you that you have been chosen as my new apprentice. Your experiments with time extractions are truly groundbreaking. I agree that our short lifespan is deeply unfair, especially for people like us who keep improving the world, pushing it forward. I am looking forward to helping you with your experiment in Switzerland. Yours truly, Clarissa Sharp. Master Watchmaker. Extracting time, creating automatons. Can't open the drawers, but there's some beads here. And a pair of Very key lock, There's a pair of tweezers. And a lens? See if I can move around. Nope, I'm stuck right here with the raven. <laughs> in here I've got a looks like a lamp, and in front of it's a letter, and from the ref from the light shining through it I can see there's a key and it says Amelie on it. So since there is a post box in my music shop, maybe I can mail something to you with a key. Because I found a key too. Oh, okay. See if I can put this in the mailbox and see what happens. You know, maybe it's not a music shop. Maybe it's the post post office. <laughs> post and it says post box number twenty-eight. Oh, northwest, I northwest, west, southwest, east. No, because you've got the boxes, don't you? Yeah, northwest. I can line them up good. South. But you got east and southwest. They want number 28. Yeah, 28, and it was west, northwest? Uh, northwest, west, southwest, east. Okay, so I did have them in the wrong place. Oh, there we go. A Molly Raven. Two. Denmark. Maybe it means Denmark and that's just how they spell it. Here's your key to the clock shop, Amali. When you're done working, could you help me look for my raven? Okay. If you lock up the, the ra maybe if we lock up the Raven's clock shop, we can use our keys to get in. Yes. I am going the wrong way to lock the shop back up. It's closed. Okay. Yes, use the key, please. <laughs> okay. Uh, I zoomed in on the pocket watch. Oh, it's got little beads inside. Am I supposed to take those out or put them in? Hi, Raven. I'm in a certain order. Ah. I've got your books. Oh. Okay. The the raven is pecking at the pocket watch. <laughs> so telling you to open it. <laughs> oh. Did you see beads? Um do you see beads I've got, anywhere? I've got a book that has bead colors. 
Okay. Um, that describes them. Okay. So there should be a green one that's malachite. malachite. There should be a white one which is quartz. The red one's a ruby. The spotty one's a Dalmatian stone. The black one's an onyx, and the brown stripy one is a tiger's eye. And I think okay. I've got a book that will help put him in the right order. Okay, because I've only got four colors here. Uh, Malachite, Malachite, Quartz, Ruby, and the Tiger's Eye. I think that might be enough because I've got four. I've got a picture here with four stones, um, and I think I've got the sequence to put them in. So if I'll read it to you, so it says. Um, through multiple studies, Miss Shah figured out that a timepiece will be more precise when using only quartz in the channeling plate. And then it has a comment. I think the sequence will be more accurate with the additional benefit of storing time. The tiger's eye should be to the left of the quartz. The macalite cannot be to the far side or directly next to the ruby. The ruby must not be directly next to the tiger's eye. And that's about it. That one. This is a balance section. So for the highest precision point, the balance needle towards the third quartz. Point it instead towards the malachite. It stores better time. So do you have an arrow in the uh, clock as well? Yeah, there's a, a needle and a ring that turns. I'm not sure I got the beads in the right order though. So it's it's uh, it was Tiger's Eye on the left, right? Yep, to the left of the quartz. Okay. The malachite can't be to the far sides or next to the ruby. And the ruby must not be next to the tiger's eye. Man, the raven looks like it's gonna knock this clock over. Am I doing something wrong, buddy? Is that why you keep hitting the uh, pocket watch? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm doing this wrong. Uh, okay, where's the ruby supposed to be? So the ruby must not be next to the tiger's eye. Okay, and malachite cannot be next to the ruby. It can't be to the far sides, or yeah, or next to the ruby. So it has to be somewhere in the center. So possibly the ruby is on, one, is on the opposite edge. Okay, because there seems to be... Um, five points there's four along the top and then one on the bottom on the picture sit here it says the four on the top there's nothing on the bottom hmm okay I guess that's just to help move the beads around and the tiger's eye isn't supposed to be near the ruby either mm. yep yeah, so not directly next to the ruby and the tiger's eye Okay, uh, this raven. <laughs> I'm trying, buddy. <laughs> okay, so I got the tiger's eye, and then the malachite, and then the quartz and the ruby. Does that sound right? Uh, sounds about right, because then that would fit with that. And then afterwards, you need to point the arrow towards the malachite. And then it says, once the lid is closed, test the experiment by setting the clock to 12. This should initiate the extraction process. Okay. 
Uh, and it says when everything is set for optimal accuracy, wind the clock up by turning the top gear clockwise oh. twice. Okay, I'll go back. I can't t I can't reach the top gear or this uh there's this ring that turns around though. It doesn't seem to do anything to the rest, but oh <laughs> That raven gets me every time. <laughs> Oh, the gears move too now. Okay. Am I. Turn it to 12. Let's see if it works. I'm turning the gears and stuff inside, but I'm not sure it's doing anything. did you have the gems in? Um, uh, Tiger's Eye, Malachite, Quartz, and Ruby. That should work. And you pointed the arrow towards the Malachite? Uh, yeah. Well, I'm trying to. The raven keeps pecking at it. You stop that. <laughs> Naughty bird. I'm pretty sure it's pointed at the Malachite. Although I'm not sure what position the rest of these things are supposed to be in. Uh, oh, I guess it's wound up now. Um, and put it at midnight. Okay, it's doing the thing again, and the raven is gone. That's weird. I think it's trying to show some sort of code now. Three, 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 six, three, six, six, three. Mm, what is that code for? Might be my bell situation where I couldn't open the door. Oh, okay. Alright, so I'll go back here. So, what's the order of the, um,. Uh, I think it's three, 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 six, three, six, three. Does the lizard do anything? Um, I startled it when I first clicked on it, but nothing else. It was hiding behind a jar, and then I, I ended up catching it in the cage. Maybe this is a clue. Um, I've been working on this iteration for one year now. Uh, two kittens you found in the pantry in five years, so maybe one, two, five? One, two, five, or? Uh.
Was there any other animals in any mentions of other rooms? Hmm. That's, uh, I've been working on this iteration for one year now in the study. I'd like you to keep it safe for me, Lark. Look after it really well, like you did with the two kittens you found in the pantry. In five years, when I've gained more knowledge, I'll come back for you and complete it. I'll be sitting by the dinner table waiting for you. I guess that's... Um, yeah, because I've got, I've got rooms in here, so... Let's see, because I've got um, kitchen, front door, study, music room, office, and dining hall. So, first one was the music room, was it? Uh, the study... Study is one. Yep. Uh, pantry is two. And the dining room is five? Yeah, I've got a dining hall here. Yeah. So, let's see this. So, study. One study. One. Got it. Okay. Oh, it's open? Yeah, yeah. So, okay. it was um, one of the study, two in the kitchen, because that's the pantry, and five in the dining hall, which is where the dining table is. All right. Now, I'm kind of a little nervous at what's under here. Wow. Let's have a look. Let's go downstairs. There is a barrel tied up with a rope, a couple of paint cans, and discarded flower pots in the back. Yeah, so that's kind of like what I have. There's the barrel and a lizard cage, but... I've got a, a, a bashing up the um, barrel. I'm trying to see if I can get it open. Oh, it's breaking. Thanks for the barrel. Oh, a clock. Oh, you found another clock. So it says switching between midnight and. Oh god, just being one, two, three. So it's it's it's. I think it's showing a pen. So it's going from twelve to three to six, clockwise three times, back to three, back to twelve, back to twelve. Back. Hang on. Okay, let's, let's do it. So it's 12, 3, 12, 12, 12, 3, 6. That's the, the, the big hand pointing to those numbers. Hmm. I wonder if it goes with the, uh, the one I found. That's the wrong building. Hey, Georgia, what is it? Hello? Well, you can't just stand there meowing. I don't know what you want. If you want patents, you gotta come over here and get it. <laughs> Okay, um, it looks like it's the big hand doing three and six, too. So you're three and six, yeah, because that's what mine, mine's doing. So I've got 12, 3, 12, 12, 12, 3, 6. Uh, so... I'm moving a pot. Oh yeah, that's how I found the lizard. Will they move anywhere? Or? Uh, I move the one pot. Nothing else moves. Okay. So. It's probably long gone. So. It's twelve at first. So it would be three o'clock, and then the next one was what was the next one? Three. So three fifteen. Yeah, and then it's twelve, twelve, twelve. So three o'clock, six o'clock, three o'clock. 
and then three and six. Um, then maybe six fifteen. Um, and six thirty. Hmm. I, I get it. I don't know which one comes first, but those are directions for the train station. For the train station. Okay, so then we can go back and press the buttons for that one. Yeah. Uh, well, that will be all for this session, and um, probably still a few more left to go. But uh, thank you all for watching, and um, please go. Follow B Bandolero Roja and DeviantArt. Alright, stay safe. I hope you enjoyed this video. And this is Brushfire Windrag signing off.